Gamers, gadget hounds, and those who love techno crap, welcome back to Tech of Tomorrow, where we're actually moving past the 280 series of cards, and we're going to start moving into the new R9 270X set of cards. Now, the first that we have on the table is the Direct CU version from the people over at Asus. Now, this card's going to have all of their awesome cooling, all their stuff that's in the card that makes it special to Asus. You guys know that the people over at Asus, they never use reference stuff. They always go out of their way on their series of cards and and bring you guys aftermarket cooling and their own design, which is totally based on non-reference stuff. So with that said, let's jump in and check out this brand new card from the people over at Asus. All right, folks, so here we have it, the box. Part of every unboxing includes, obviously, well, the box. All right, so we have the Asus In Search of Incredible, the Direct CU2 top version. Now, if you guys know anything about the top version, the top version is always the highest clock version that these guys make. Now, this card's gonna be replacing the 7870, that's right, if you guys thought it was anything different, nope, that's what it is. You guys can see down here, top overclock edition, two gigabytes, GDR5, their Digi Plus, plus VRM, alloy power, all this is, is all the stuff that's power conditioning, the good parts they use, makes it last longer, run cooler. GPU tweak, you guys all know what that is, that's Asus's, their software for overclocking and monitoring your card. Bang through all that real quick, just flip it around the back where they really just reiterate stuff. If you guys don't know it yet, Direct CU is direct copper, it means that the thing connects directly to the copper on the card, gets dissipated out through the heat pipes and then into the metal cooling fins to keep the card cooler. 20% cooler and vastly quieter. Once again, we see the Digi plus VRM plus Super Alloy Power, which actually is just the way that the power conditioning of the card is, the parts that they use, and it's supposed to have 30% less power noise and 2.5 times the lifespan. Once again, we see GPU tweak. Sorry, folks, I'm just trying to blaze through this. I know you guys don't really like too much about the box, but some people do, so I try to appease you all. So let's go ahead now, pop the end cap off. Da -da -da -da, the R9 270X. We'll go ahead and get that out of the way. So we see a box in a box. I actually got a little bit of damage in shipping there. Had to kick the shipper's butt. It was UPS though, so what do you expect? All right, so there we go. We're gonna pop the cap. Here we see all the accessories. I'm gonna real quickly go over these. A lot of you guys said that you didn't want me to spend a lot of time on them, but you did want to see them. So I won't spend a lot of time on them, but I'll still let you see them. So quick, speed setup. What are we doing speedy? Molex, six, six pin, crossfire cable, driver. Is that quick enough? All right then, move past it. Here we are onto the card itself. Where now you can see since my video that I made before about them not coming in plastic bags, we'll check it out. <laughs> They're in plastic bags. I guess I pissed somebody off over there. So go ahead and take that out. A lot of times my cards are review samples though. This is actually a full on retail package. Um, if you're watching Nick, uh, I prefer them this way. Let's go ahead and pull this out. Got a little bit of a sticky thing there, stick it on the card, and then boom. Let me just get the box out of the way or at least fold it up because I think it'll be a nice part to stop. So anyway, since I got it this way, let's start off with the beautiful black PCB on the rear of the card. Check that out. I know that all you guys prefer that. You've stated that many, many times. You don't want to see any other color pretty much, but black on your PCB. Well, Asus listens to you. Now, one thing that could have been cooler about this card, I'm sure we'll see on some other models when they put the back cover on. I really prefer that. I know you guys do as well. It protects the card. Here's your PCIe 3.0 interface. Stick that into your little slot in your computer. I don't think you guys all know that. Flip it up here to the top. Let me spin this bad boy around. And, um, I want to take note of something here. Do you see these power connectors? When I get to the review, I'll find exactly what this is, but this is looking like Asus did something a little bit different here. Don't know exactly what it is yet, but I will investigate. Flip the card to the side, we see the name, Asus, direct CU2. Here are the heat pipes, dual six pin power connectors, hence why we had the Molex to six pin. Kind of useless for some people, but if you need it, it's good to have it, better to have it than need it and not have it, right? Exactly. So here is the power plug for the fans. You guys can see some of the components all underneath there. See the fins? Some of you guys said it makes your skin cringe when I do that, but this one's not making any noise. I'm not getting any musical tenderness out of that. So nothing there. Two slot solution, you guys can see that. More of the heat pipes down here. Flip it to the top of the card. Now, DC2, that means two fans, direct copper and two fans, hence the two fans that we see here. Underneath, you can see all of the aluminum heat fins that help make up the cooling of the card. So on the rear IO, we have 
Standard DisplayPort, none of those little main DisplayPort jobbers. Standard HDMI and two DVI connections, DVI-D and DVI-I. This can show you right off the bat, this is completely aftermarket. When you see a card directly from AMD, it's gonna have a single DVI, no standard display port. You're gonna see two of those main display ports, which I don't even like. They're only good for people who own Macs. I mean, if you don't own a Mac, those main display ports are almost useless. So I'm glad that ASUS took the time to take that out. So that's it, folks. The card, the content, and that's it. All right, so, well, that's the unboxing, and now I've got to part with the cards. It's got to go on the test station, but I don't want to part with it. It's a nice looking little card, nice price. Well, so that's it, folks. If you guys like this video, hit that like button. Also, if you guys would like to see a video on some articles comparing this directly against the various 280s, let us know that as well. Also, over on our website, www.techoftomorrow.com, you guys will also see this down in the description, I will have a poll asking us, asking you rather, not us, <laughs> asking you folks how you would like to see this card reviewed and what cards you guys would like to see it tested upon. We'll look at those results in the poll. They'll be all live for you guys to see, and that will be the direction that we go with these videos. You guys seem to like this AMD launch just kind of waning. It doesn't seem like everybody's really that excited about it. So we're going to try to make you guys more excited by following what you guys want us to do. So I'm Eric here at Tech of Tomorrow. I'm going to go take a nap with the nice Asus card, and I'll see you guys back here when I wakey-wakey. Bye-bye.